o saka pagtuo. O saka tingog. O saka katawan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. sa New Center sa Cebu Catholic Television Network, CCTN 47. Ano na ang mga nagunang balita sa alas 12. Puluhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Traffic light system nga gigamit sa syudad sa Subo, Dili Advance. Sumapas sa mga eksperto gikan sa kauluan. Single mom, gipusil patay kagabi. Kriminal, gipangita pa sa kapulisan. Mayong odto sa nga ni Dennis Tabar, ako si Gia Navarro, kaban sa inyo sa Puwersa sa CCTN News Team, kami motod ganin nyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. O karon sa kompletong detalye sa itong mga balita, wala na kauyon ang mga batid. Sa ipatumang advanced nga traffic light system, dini sa Dakbayan sa Subo. Sumapa sa mga eksperto gikan sa Metro Manila Development Authority kun MMDA nga napakyas ang tingwa sa maong mga bagong traffic light sa paghatag o real-time nga kahimtang sa trapiko sa daan. Apil na nini ang kakuwang sa safety features aron makalabang sa karsada ang mga tao. Gitunol na sa Konseyo sa Siyudad sa Subo ang naimong komprehensibong report bahin sa kahimtang sa trapiko sa Dakbayan at o sa pagbisita sa miyaging tuig. Gendors kini ni Konsel Joy Pesquera o gikatak na kinigtukion sa regular session sa Konseyo karong hapon. Misugyot usab ang MMDA na magbaton og dakong command center ang dakbayan aron butangan og daghang servers, radio rooms ug mga trabahante nga may musubay sa trapiko sa dalan. Ang kasamtangang traffic lights nga gigamit sa syudad una nang gilusad na tong 2020 diin gigastuan kini og 480 million pesos. Gimanduan ni Acting Mayor Raymond Alvin Garcia ang nagdumala sa Cebu City Sports Complex nga si Jovito Taborada nga muhimo og incident report o isumiter nga to siyang buhatan. May labot kini sa atleta nga naangol tungod sa guba nga bahin sa rubberized truck oval. Ang pagbando gihimo ato sa pagbisita sa mayor aron pagsusi sa truck oval niya itong adlaw lunes. Buot sa taon ni Acting Mayor Garcia kung unsa gay na itabo sa batanong atleta sa at ado na may CCTV cameras nga nagpalibot sa sports complex. Kaya nung daman nga gipasangin sa atleta sa martial arts nga siya nakaangkon o angol siyang tudlo gumikan siya paghisokamod sa naguba nga bahin sa oval. Na ngayong kini og Daniels gato sa SBD Builders nga mukabat o kapin 800 mil kapisos. Pagsaka sa mga nagunang palaliton kon inflation o sa sa mga nagunang basihan nga nung dugangan o 33 pesos hangtod 43 pesos ang inadlong suulan sugod karong Oktubre 2. Ang gobyerno giawag sa basakop sa wage board nga maghimo o mas konkretong lakang aron di magbaguod ang mga mamumuo. Aniya mong kasayuran? Gisaysay sa Regional Tripartite Wages and Productivity Board 7 kung RTWPB 7 kung giyon sa pagkabot ang range ng 33 pesos hangtod 43 pesos nga aumento sa suhulan ng ipatuman sugod-sunod buwan. Sumapasay ng Vice Chairperson nga si Jennifer Britannia nga sa sa mga basihan mao ang inflation kung pagsaka sa mga nagunang palaliton sa merkado. Apa nakita niya nga pinaagi sa mga aumento sa suhulan law man ng mas taas nga consumer spending nga to sa mga panginahang lanon. Kinibisan pa man o gilaw man ang taas-taas nga inflationary impact tungod sa mga pag-usbaw. Activity, we considered consumer price index uh, which is related to inflation. Uh, distortions, no? Sa minimum real wage, uh, how far are we in terms of uh, paano makakakontribute yung minimum wage hike to reducing poverty? Gibutin sila mga kaubanan nga nahimong dugoon ang ilang panaglalis o pilaman ang pangayuong umento na ilang gihatag. Apa nasarta nila ang kasagmuyo, ilabi na sa habig sa mga empleyado nga matod pa, sinsilyo lang ang maong umento. It was a, a hard fa, uh, fight for all of us. Pasalamat na lang sa mga na agitay na kuha ng increase, 
bisan pa man sa reklamo sa sa business sector scale na sila sa nanggulahin. Napakinusap sa habig sa management sector ang kasagmayo sa ilang mga kauban bahin sa gipangayong umento. Maong gipalanog niya ang auhag ngadto sa kagamhanan nga kung mahimo adunay intervention aron maminusan pa ang epekto sa inflation. Yuyo na niya ang kahingawa sa business sector ilabi na sa mga Chamber of Commerce sa Subo nga hilabi ang maapektuhan ang mga gagmay patigayon tungod sa wage hike. Make sure na uh, the burden of food is not on us for us to cover for the rising cost sa pagkaon. That is the responsibility of government. And I have been emphasizing that. Karong pinta, ibago ang classification sa paghatag o gumento. Sama na lang sa pagtipon sa agriculture o non-agriculture na doon ay dilimabot sa napu ka mga empleyado. Ipatuman karong Oktobre 2 ang bagong wage order o 15 card daw sukad nga unang na-publish sa mga talaan. Mong may painumdom ang wage board o ang Department of Labor and Employment 7 na makigalayan kanila kung ugaling magmagay man ang employer sa maong umento. But the establishment of to apply for exemption, when you in the end, they ma discover the area, they leave they sila qualified for exemption, no, because more than 10 days sila or they they lied about a certain fact, no, they would be asked to pay the mandated increase retroactive to the date of the effectivity plus an interest of 1%. Navarro, CCTN News. Gisusi na sa kapulisan kung kinsa ang responsable sa pagpubusil patay sa so, Osaka Single Mom kagabi sa may Banawa, Barangay Guadalupe, Dakbayan, sa Subo. Gila among inahang si Baby Lynn Gabuyan, 40 anos kinsang nakaangkon og samad pinusilan siyang ulo. Sumapa sa pasiunang investigasyon sa PNP nga adunay nanawag kaniya sa cellphone o minaog. Apan nakaplagan na lang sa igsoon nga nahagba si Gabuyan, human na kadungog o buto sa armas. Daling girespondihan sa emergency response team sa barangay ang mong itsidete apan nakabsan sa kinabuhi ang inhan. Nakuha sa Sin of the Crime Operatives Konsoko ang usakakabhang sa bala gikan sa wa matinong armas. Gisubay na sa PNP ang tanang anggulo sa mong krimen apil ang giingong kalambigitan sa illegal na drugas o di baka pagkalambigit isip asset sa pulis. Kapin sa siyam kamilyon ka pesos nga valor sa illegal nga drugas na sakit sa Police Regional Office 7 at uso sa kaadlaw nga anti-criminality operations. Ang labing dakong nga nasakmit gikan sa saka high value individual sa barangay Mabolo. Di na niyang amo anara sa Cebu City Jail. Ang kasayuran niya to di Arnold Bustamante. Kapin sa saka kilo sa kito ang siyam nga mabalor sa 8.1 milyones ka pesos ang nasakmit sa mga sakop sa Regional Police Drug Enforcement Unit 7 na tol sa kilusan nga bay sa operasyon sa El Tuntun Street, Barangay Mabono, sa Dakbayan, sa Sugbo. Ang suspitsaryo gila nga si Carl J. Monterdic Kinal, alias Ikin, 33 anos, residente sa Holy Name Street, Barangay Mabono, sa Siyudad, sa Sugbo. Nakuha sa suspitsaryo ang dahang puto sa kito ang Shabu, na mutimbang sa 1,200 gramos, na doon ay standard drug price, nga 8.1 million pesos. Sigun sa sa mga peritiba sa RPDU 7, nga ilang ipaubo sa tulog kasi mana nga surveillance ang suspitsaryo. Human nila manawat ang informasyon nikan sa kasaligang tinugdan. Gingaw nga makabalig nga kini o gatulog ka kilo matag si Mara. Di nang iyang area siyang distribution mo ang tibok na kaya sa Sugbo. Gikan sa sulu sa Cebu City Jail ang kontak ni ni na mausap ang uh, mumando niya kung kinsa ang hatagan sa supply siya ng drugas. Ang Police Regional Office 7 nakikilayon sa Bureau of Jail Management and Technology alang sa himoon ng investigasyon ganong parain nga makakontak ang mga person di Tribe of Liberty con PDL sa gawas gamit ang ilang cellphone na salita sa Piero 7 na mabot sa 9.7 milyon na pesos ang kanatimukang nasakmit sa kapulisan sa Tibok Central Desire sa so, saka adlaw nga Police Operations nakasikop sila o 42 ka mga drug personalities at also 42 ka anti-illegal drug operations sa ilang kampanya Batok Loose Firearms nakasakmit sila o 14 ka mga armas na wala lisensya din pito ni ini gitahan sa police station samtang ang pito ilang na-embargo gikan sa mga suspitsado sa kampanya Batok sa illegal na sugal nakasikop sila o 35 
35 ka mga sukarol sa 31 ka mga anti-illegal gambling operations o bisakmit sa 3,390 pesos na kwarta gikan sa sugal babot usab sa 28 ka mga wanted persons sa kailan nakpan o pati iri giilang ang mga most wanted persons karang katumang o lain-laing matang sa kaso sa korte kapinusab sa tunga sa milyon ka pesos ang nakolekta sa gobyerno isip multa sa 926 ka mga tao na nakalapas sa lokal nga ordinansa matag syudad o lungsod sa Central Visayas Arnold Bustamante CCTNU O huwag ka doang naglangkob sa ito mga balita sa alas 12 Sangan sa Tanang Kaubanan sa CCTN News and Current Affairs Ilabi na sa itong news manager nga si Dennis Tabar Ako si Gian Navarro At tangi ang atong Sire 47 Karon ka ng alas 5 sa hapon Hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi Musunod na sa Dimadugay ang Santos Camisa Nga manukad live sa CCTN Chapel Daghang salamat, Daigo ng Diyos of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, Creator and Ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts, but I shall show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong, or a clashing cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy, and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have all faith so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over, so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. Love is not pompous. It is not inflated. It is not rude. It does not seek its own interests. It is not quick-tempered. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. If there are prophecies, they will be brought to nothing. If tongues, they will cease. If knowledge, it will be brought to nothing. For we know partially, and we prophesy partially. But when the perfect comes, the partial will pass away. When I was a child, I used to talk as a child, think as a child, reason as a child. When I became a man, I put aside childish things. At present, we see indistinctly as in a mirror, but then face to face. At present, I know partially, then I shall know fully as I am fully known. So faith, hope, Love remain, these three, but the greatest of these is love. The Word of the Lord. the Lord has 
Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the crowds, To what shall I compare the people of this generation? What are they like? They are like children who sit in the marketplace and call to one another. We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not weep. For John the Baptist came, neither eating food nor drinking wine. And you said, He is possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came, eating and drinking. And you said, Look, he is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by all her children. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
in our first reading today, we have the, the famous chapter of the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians that talks about love. And Paul says, if I do not have love, I have nothing. And then St. Paul says many other things about true Christian love. Paul wants to emphasize the necessity and the preeminence of love. And he even says that our spiritual gifts, our talents, everything that we have are useless without love. And love is something which we must manifest externally through concrete actions. St. Paul says, love does not seek its own interests. So it might be good to ask ourselves questions like, is my love other-oriented? Or is my love self-centered? Is my love self-giving? Or is my love Selfish. I only love myself. St. Paul says, Love does not brood over injury. Is our love forgiving? Is our love truly forgiving? Do we forgive from our hearts? Or do we just say, I forgive you from the mouth, but we don't really mean the words, I forgive you. Jesus says we have to forgive 70 times, 7 times. Yes, the love feels the injury, accepts the injury, but love forgives. And sometimes love corrects and love dialogues with the other person. Love endures all things. Therefore, very clearly, love is not just a feeling, but a decision and a commitment to do good for the person who is loved. And let us make the decision to truly love now. Love does not postpone its loving action. The Gospel talks about Jesus giving us a short parable about children in the marketplaces playing a certain game. One group of children said to the other group, We play the flute for you, but you did not dance. It is time to dance, but you do not dance. The Gospel reminds us, Now, not later, is the time to dance. That is to say, now is the time to love. Now is the time to respond to the call of love. Seize the moment. Do not put off. We are familiar with that expression in Latin, carpe diem. The phrase written by the Roman poet Horace means literally seize the day, put very little trust in tomorrow. Interpreted positively, the saying can mean grab the opportunity today, for tomorrow you might not have another chance. Do not miss your chance. When we are called upon to do something and the moment for doing it arrives, we must capitalize on the chance, seize the moment, and set our mind and heart to doing the thing. Otherwise, when the moment passes by and we were not decisive enough to do what we should have done, we would regret it. We might lose our momentum or not get another chance. And that would be a tragedy. There is also urgency in the call of Jesus, in the call to love. While it is true on the one hand that it is never too late to follow the Lord, when one finally heeds the call to holiness and to love towards the latter part of our lives, this is not the ideal scenario. Late conversions should not be considered as the rule, but as an exception to the rule, an act of mercy granted by the special grace of God. Ideally, when the Lord calls us to conversion from our sins, 
or to greater love or greater perfection in the Christian life. We heed that call right now. We strive right away to give up some particular wrongdoing. We strive right away to do something about a particular defect in our character. We strive right away to replace wrong attitudes with the right ones. Opportunities for change and greater fidelity to the Lord can come in various ways. Some concerned individual may tell us that we are doing something wrong and we're not even aware of it or we are just not we don't just uh, we don't care enough to make some changes in our lives both your doctor and your spiritual advisor may tell you that some lifestyles are not healthy bodily and spiritually and it's time for some changes some specific biblical passage may suddenly speak a relevant message to you one day like forgive your brother or sister from the heart or some sudden internal realization may just dawn on you out of the blue reminding you of some long overdue changes you need to make in your life these and many others are ways in which the lord now tells us come follow me sometimes the call is loud and clear sometimes soft and subtle but we have to seize the day be alert enough to recognize the moment when it arrives and humble enough to accept and do something about our weaknesses there is nothing more regrettable than the tragedy of the unseized moment when there was a chance for the betterment of our own person and we failed to seize the day maybe our pride got in the way yet again or our refusal to leave our comfort zones or maybe it was just our plain indecisiveness as usual whatever the reason for our delay and postponement to follow the lord more committedly it is sad if we continue to remain where we are the same person with the same weaknesses and the same lack of drive to change ourselves and so may we ask god to be, to give us the grace to help us see ourselves honestly and clearly and the grace to strive with humility to follow jesus and be a more loving and caring person not tomorrow not later but right now as the children in the parable said we piped you a tune but you did not dance jesus told the people jesus sounded the call to salvation may we respond accordingly the children should dance to the music when it was time to dance we should respond to the call of jesus promptly let us pray Jesus compared people who would not respond to God's call for a change of heart to children who could not agree on the game to play. If today we hear God's voice, may we not harden our hearts. Lord, give us a listening heart. Lord, give us a listening heart. John the Baptist called people to repent and make a straight path for the Lord. May we have a heartfelt and prayerful acknowledgement of our limitations and sins. We pray, Lord, give us a listening heart. Jesus became a friend to tax collectors and sinners. 
May we experience the love of God who consoles, pardons, and instills hope. We pray. Lord, give us a listening heart. May the church that welcomes her sinful sons and daughters constantly pursue the path of penance and renewal. We pray. Lord, give us a listening heart. Like children who must agree on the game to play, may the people of God move as one in the direction pointed to them by the Holy Spirit. We pray. Lord, give us a listening heart. May our nation act as one in eliminating iniquities, in stopping corruption, and in healing injustice that is undermining the common good. We pray. Lord, give us a listening heart. Father, we give so many excuses when we do not want to cooperate with our brothers and sisters in working for the common good. Help us to be one in heart and in purpose, working for the cause of the gospel and building a better world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Yes. 
you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed. Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.
Church of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas Adilio and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family. Thank you.